What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Civilization 5 60 Civ AI only world battle. We're going to do turns 100 onwards. I don't want to say a number because if it gets like really slow it won't be 200. But the plan is obviously that I'll skip to a part 3 where it's highlights. Um, and then hopefully we get a good balance of, I know people wanted me to sort of, you know, watch it a bit more. But obviously once it gets really slow it's just, I'm not going to sit here and watch 4 hours where nothing's really happening. Which is what you get once you get sort of beyond turn 200, it just takes forever. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with this. Um, um, but yeah, the map's looking good. I've forgotten my pick, if any of you can remember who it is, be sure to uh, remind me. We've got some unique units here that have the um, location pin from Google Maps. Cool. Fair enough, we can see where they got that logo from. Uh, but yeah, we'll just we'll just keep going. I'll um, sort of aim to come in every five, ten turns, or if something happens, I'll make a note of what happened. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. And then five turns in, I'm trying to just keep track of the border wars. Obviously, some are just too far apart to keep track of. Um, but Nubia has declared war on Canon Bornu just now, and we've also got a great mosque of Gen there for the Mayans. Cut. Colorado, not Colombia. There's no Colombia. Colorado. I've I've been using abbreviations to like lim you know waste less paper. There you go. Colorado did get Petra, which is quite good. They got Desert City. Let's see how that goes for them. We've got some other wars that were kind of close. Rome v Carthage. By then realize Rome has no boats, so probably not too important. And Poland versus Byzantium. But again, that's gonna be very difficult for Poland to win. We have had one city fall, unless I've missed one, which was Memphis here from Tennessee falling to the Sioux, so they're still looking quite good. Okay, we've got a big war, and I think our first one in India, Harappa has, oh no, they, att Harappa, sorry, attacked Nepal, I thought it was the other way around. Okay, well, we'll see how this goes. This city could be in trouble, but there's plenty of units here, so it's definitely going to be a big battle if anything is to happen. And then is this one anything? Yakusha versus China is not so important, just because China's down here. They're very vulnerable right now, but not too... Not to them, it, it's going to be Ming probably, or Japan, Mongolia's sort of run out of units for now at least. But apart from that, that was a very quiet five turns. Uh, little fights going on everywhere, but no cities have fallen. Lots of battles and damage, as you can sort of see. I don't even think there was any peace deals or wars until these two just now. And then we had some cities fall after that peaceful period. A Seneca here has fallen, I believe that was Iroquois, um, falling to Canada. And then what else have we got? Ming declared war on China, so I called that. I predicted something. That was good. I might not be able to guess the winner, but I guessed a war about one term before it broke out. That was kind of cool. Uh, Bengal completed the mausoleum at Halicarnassus. They still only have one city, which is a bit worrying, but it is... Uh, we don't have spies yet, but one of the bigger ones. We don't have spies yet. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, it's, it's on standard speed, so that would be why. And Rhodesia attacked the Zulu... So far, I mean, the Zulu have got this city surrounded, but no siege progress being made just yet. Okay, we've still got a fair few wars breaking out, but not any cities falling, unless I've missed them. But I don't think so. No, no, it all looks the same. Shoshone versus California, that's broken out, but again, nothing really coming of it just yet. We've got Yakusha declared war on Mongolia, which surprised me, because they had about three units when it started, but there's now a whole, like, well, oh no, their army's here, that's why. There is kind of a whole coalition now against Mongolia as well. So we've seen the Garamantes and Nigeria face similar things. Uh, Bengal added another wonder in a very short succession, the Hanging Gardens. So this is going to be a very big city. Uh, the Inca declared war on the Maya, which is not really, that was a, like one turn ago, so it's not got going just yet. But we'll see. The city is between two mountains, though. It's going to be a challenge. Also, look at this city from California. Very bold. And the Huns did just attack the Khazar. Or I'm assuming, yeah, it could have been the other way around, but it looks like the Huns have attacked the Khazar. We'll see how that goes. Okay, then turn 125, Spain and Rome going after Carthage, and they're close, I, I noticed, but they're not, not close enough just yet. I think Beijing's also safe, Ming not having much success. Some other wars we got, Huns just a turn after going after the Khazar. Thought we'll go after Kazan as well, um, but that's not going to go anywhere. Morocco captured this Garamanti city, although I think Spain just attacked them, so they'll have to defend that even more. Uh, Russia and Germany declared war on Poland, not quite at the same time, but a lot of Russia's units in Rome, so I don't know how this will go. Poland has more units than them, sort of. Not, not, they have more here, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Nubia also captured a city, I, that one, I don't know who owned it before, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's now theirs. 
Peru, Peru, Persia, <laughs> it's a problem with shortening things, Persia declared war on Babylon, and then Mexico and Colorado have teamed up against California, but I don't see much success, and as it's turn 125, we'll do a little map show off, I don't think too much has changed in North America, it looks mostly the same, no one's even settled, so we've got this new city, oh actually Mexico will probably grab this, got the Mayans doing fine for now, a uh, new city here for the Corral, I think this is all the same, that might be, a, that looks like a new Chile city though, but I'm not sure how long Brazil will let them keep it, and then you've got Argentina doing their thing down here, go across the Atlantic, Zulu have held on, Rhodesia's got a lot of troops here, Burundi still looking quite good, Congo just with the one city, not really doing too much, Ethiopia being attacked, it's Nubia, Kanembornu, there's a lot of one city civs here, Garamantes, I didn't realise Gao was so big, Nigeria, and of course their random city up here on the north coast as well, Mali, Morocco, here's Spain, still just one city, they could really do with grabbing something here, France with their three, looking okay, and a settler, England still with one, they're obviously not too bothered this game <laughs> about trying, Oh, Spain does have this in Norway, I forgot. Here's Germany with their two, Rome with three, Byzantium snuck one up here in Crimea. Sweden still got three, Khazar grabbed one up here. Then there's Perm, the Hunt, uh, Khazar, Babylon, Persia. Here's what India's looking like. Nepal hasn't lost their capital yet. And uh, there's Arabia, just with their two cities. Oh, Egypt actually came and settled over here, that's new. There's a new city for Perm, the Kazan is still here, there's a random Persia city, Ming, Japan, China, this area is the same, Siam, Nepal still has that region there in Southeast Asia, Japan, still just the southern half of Japan, Korea with their four cities, yeah this is all mostly the same, I think the Chukchi, I don't know where they're going, they pieced out with Korea but we'll see where they go. Australia has arrived in Japan as well but I don't think anyone has yet, there's some, there's some scouts and some boats. But no settlers just yet. I mean, there's still plenty of space in Australia and all of this Indonesian region for the AI to go for, and New Zealand, Hawaii. There's no resources here, actually, so probably not. But certainly in here there is resources. And that is... that. that's the map review. We'll just check the religions. Uh, do, 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 do. Here we go. Okay, well, that's pretty dominant on one side. It is Islam from Nubia in 19 cities. Eight is the next best from Japan, so less than half with Shinto, and then it's fours. So yeah, the rest are pretty bad at the moment. Okay, we got some stuff. Finally, pretty interesting five-turn spell. Spain grabbed UTK here off of Carthage. That was the first event. Mexico then took San Jose, which was expected, but then Colorado managed to grab San Francisco, which I was not expecting. Um, so that's, that's really dented California's hopes in this game. Hope I didn't pick them. And Brazil and Chile have both declared war separately, but they both declared war on Argentina. I believe the Mayans as well, but they're a bit further away. Argentina's got plenty of units, so we'll see how this goes. But Brazil does have the Great Wall, so that's at least going to give them some protection if they're not prepared to go right away. Gone into a stage of non-stop denouncements. There's like hundreds of them. I th think this doesn't happen with deity difficulty, so that's just interesting to note because we've... We have had it before, but not for a while, so I think it was when we used Immortal before, which is interesting, I don't know why, I guess maybe the AI, um, Deity difficulty, is it, I think it's Deity, isn't it, not Deity, but either way, whichever you prefer, um, but that difficulty, I think they just declare surprise wars, they don't really mind, whereas here they do tend to give you that little denounce warning beforehand maybe, I'm not sure. But either way, we've got some new stuff. Canada declared war on the Iroquois. I don't... Yeah, that's only just underway, though. Harappa did capture Kathmandu off of Nepal, so they lost their capital, I'm afraid. There are some capitals that are very close to falling. Beijing was, and it's actually fine now. It was close. Uh, Babylon's the other one. Um, Japan and Ming teamed up. Oh, that's probably why Ming started failing up here. But yeah, they're going after Korea together, which is a bit weird for Ming. But yeah, I thought... Ming and Korea v Japan would have made sense, but no, Japan and Ming v Korea, fair enough. Uh, the Sioux completed Machu Picchu, so that's a wonder for them. And Rome and England, just an interesting one I thought, teamed up against Germany, but I think none of these civs are any good. <laughs> Sorry Europe. It goes for most of the map, There isn't. I think it's because there's so many, they're taking longer to get strong enough to take each other out. They're all fairly similar sized, so that might be playing a part.
In turn 140, we're getting to, we had our first awkward moment, which is um, this city here fell to Nubia and then back again, which is um, obviously annoying when I'm trying to <laughs> keep track of all the cities falling. But it does happen. There's always those cities that are sort of perpetually swinging between two sieves. This is not the case. Nubia's not got it back again yet. But yeah, it, the cannon born who came back from the dead. We also had the USA declare on the on Tennessee, and Nashville was close to falling, but I think the Sioux might have pieced out or just left because they were doing most of the work, and the US has only just joined. And other than that, I haven't wrote anything down, so I think that's it. Although Canada, you can see, making some progress here. What we'll do is at turn 150, and then every 50 turns, we'll have the um the scoreboard so we can see who's not not get it's not very clear, but you know we can maybe have a look at who's doing better, who isn't. Okay, we got some action this time. Nubia did kill Cannon Bornu, although somehow Nigeria took it off of them. Okay, missed that one. <laughs> at least we spotted it. Chukchi versus Korea. That's not going to lead to anything at the moment because they are not. They don't have any boats. France declared war on Germany again, but at the moment Berlin is just about fine. Although it could could be sieged if Rome and France go for it. Canada. Making moves in North America took on and dagger here, so they're starting to look quite good with six cities. The USA also retook Boston, and they have now pieced out of that war. The Huns took a city, I don't know where it is, um, so I'm going to try find. Oh, it's this one. I believe it belonged to Nepal. So okay, <laughs> not too impressive then, um, or important. It's in the middle of nowhere. One battering ram seemed to have done it by itself, <laughs> which is, I guess, fairly impressive. And the Inca also grabbed Notre Dame, so ten more happiness for them. This city could be next by the look of it. And then turn 150, a big update. We've got the score list there. Let's have a look. Who's, it says India is leading with Gandhi here. Then Burundi. Sorry, you can I can hardly see it, so I can't imagine. You know, if you're watching on a phone or anything, you'll have any chance. Nubia is in third there. Japan in fourth and Argentina fifth. So no Europe, but that, that's normal at this point on world maps. But one South American... Uh, one Asia, uh, two Asian, sorry, and two African sips. So there you go. That's sort of scores. Not necessarily who I was expecting. I did not expect to see Japan up there. Hadn't paid much attention to Nubia. Burundi, yeah, I think they're quite big. India's another one I wasn't really expecting. But religion is a big part of score, so it, it's not going to decide the winner. Don't worry. It will probably give you the choices that you can then vote on or something. Or We're not going to have a proper vote, but, you know, whatever we do at the end, I, I don't know. Hopefully we'll have like a clear winner if we get far enough where it's just someone's really good. But we did have some more events go down. India completed the Barubadur wonder. Iroquois capital sort of fell and is it's swinging. It's gone a few times now. Argentina captured Santiago here and they might... Yeah, they're going to lose this city though. So if Brazil gets this, they'll be very happy. Uh, Mexico pieced out with California and managed to grab Los Angeles there. And then what else do we get? India v Persia. Maybe. Probably not. But I thought maybe that would be interesting. But that was it. And we'll just do the map review. Although most of it is the same. Because we've seen all the cities that have fallen. There's not many new cities anywhere. But I'll sort of slowly go over it. The Caribbean's still empty. South America. Yeah, it's all still the same for now. Although we saw Chile lose their capital. Over here, I believe it's pretty much the... Oh no, new Rhodesian city. Burundi do look very big here. Ethiopia, Nubia, third place apparently. I think they have the best religion, don't they? So that's why. Um, Nigeria obviously grabbed this city recently. Garamanti's had a tough start, but these are two good cities. Morocco may be a dark horse. I don't see them on this score list, but <laughs> maybe not. They have five cities. Spain obviously did grab this one. Europe's looking very quiet and very... Not many units here at all, compared to some other areas of the map. Anything going on here across Siberia? We'll come back down and do India and stuff in a second. It's all as it sort of looked before. Yep, not much changing. As soon as we get a spy, I'll do the big city comparison. But we haven't got that just yet. But yeah, everything's looking mostly the same. The only area I have not checked is... Oh, Babylon survived, by the way. they got a peace deal too. Still no settlers out this way, and I haven't looked at Australia too much, but yeah, they're going to capture this. That would have come out of nowhere, I wasn't checking, I'll be honest. <laughs> you could, in theory, settle down here. I don't think any AIs will, but I guess if there's, like, fish or something, but there's not by the look. Oh, there's fish here. Maybe, maybe someone will, <laughs> but yeah, it's probably not going to happen. Okay, then, some more stuff has happened. Australia taking 
this city and piecing out as well. I saw that. Um, France declared war on Spain and that did not go too well for them. They managed to lose this sort of Belgium, Netherlands city. I've got here Carla v Chile. I'm pretty sure that means Corral, not Carla. <laughs> so far, nothing's come of that one. Russia and Sweden had a war and have since pieced out. Um, Harappa attacked Persia. Not looking great. Why is Burundi here? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, Canada and the Sioux are at war with the US. That's new, but uh, where's New York? Okay, yeah, so this city fell to Canada. That's not good for the US. Um, looking good, though, for Canada, although they didn't hold on to this city. And then Ethiopia just attacked Egypt, but I've just realized they don't actually border each other. Oh, and there is one more. The Shoshone. Teaming. I thought this was Sweden for some reason. <laughs> okay, California could be in trouble. Colorado and the Shoshone. Going to take them down by the look of it. Okay, then turn 170. We're doing 10 turn intervals just because um get a bit more happening and there's not, there's not actually too much going on at the five turn intervals. Unless something crazy happens. But yeah, America's dead. That that happened pretty quickly. Washington fell to Canada. And Boston here went to Tennessee. Um, I'm just going to try and do it by region. Let's not... I was going to tell you that Tennessee and Colorado joined that war. But you don't really need to know that anymore. Uh, San Diego did go to the Shoshone. I've got San Diego in my notes. That I've, I'm doing it digitally today to save paper. Well, I say today. You're probably confused. I was A minute ago, I was doing it on paper. But I, I stopped at 150 yesterday. For me and the next day and tomorrow you'll see the video so there you go it's a monday um as you can see though colorado should probably kill um california here we will do what turn 175 actually it's gonna be time for the map review other things that have happened brazil versus chile has broken out but again not too much going on in that one munich went back to france it didn't look like it would but then all of a sudden it did I, they also seem to have done it with a catapult that's AI cheats at their finest. Um, and France and Morocco did just declare war on Carthage. We'll see how that goes for them. But that that's all we got. Oh, no, and one city did. Not the biggest news, but this city here in the tundra went to Mongolia from Yakutia. Um, is that everything? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be back in four turns. But first, let's quickly just see biggest cities in the world. There you go. Uh, Mashidabad of Bengal. Moyinga of Burundi. Aspero of the Corral, Stockholm of Sweden, Thebes of Egypt is also there at 20, as well as Tiwanaku and Mabanza, Congo. A nice, nice little split there between well, South America, Africa, one in Europe, one in Asia. But yeah, South America and Africa definitely had the biggest cities there. Okay, this time we'll start our term 175 map review. It's nearly term 175, we're nearly there. Uh, the Sioux completely Himeji Castle, some other big events. Sacramento has fallen. I can just do these as we go around the map. But the Iroquois and Sioux have declared war on Shoshone. Probably safe behind the mountains. But yeah, California then is gone. And Colorado's looking quite good all of a sudden as well. As the Sioux and California. Here we can see their empires. Just sort of show everything. Make sure we don't miss anything. There's Mexico as well looking okay. We've got the Mayans still here. Corral, Inca, nothing much has changed. Brazil did grab this city just now. So they're sort of this east coast. They're, they're kind of close with the borders. They need to go a bit more up this way. But there you go. Chile, not so accurate. <laughs> Once we've got Argentina still here in the south. Okay, over to Africa and the Zulu are still around, but not for long. Rhodesia <laughs> took, took, took all their cities. We've got Burundi still. I think this is actually where there's been like the least change. Ethiopia's settled here in the desert recently. But yeah, look, most of it is... Pretty much the same. Carthage is going to finally die to one of Rome or Morocco by the look of it. Or France if they sneak in. Someone will be getting it. Doesn't really matter who. No preferences. Egypt survived a few wars against them. Um, I've covered everything in the notes. Babylon's still here. Byzantium's here. Rome. France got Munich back. Everything's pretty peaceful. The Shoshone have found the England, so we might get a World's Congress fairly soon, although I actually have it blocked, so we wouldn't know. <laughs> the AI will know. I won't know, which is nice, because it means I can leave the game running later on for long periods of time without having to keep, you know, without having to be here to click away all the pop-ups. Uh, Kazar, Perm, here we go. It's all, oh, yeah, nothing's really changed. I think there's one city that just fell. We should be able to see it if, if I'm right. I feel like I saw the writing, but I didn't see what it said. But looking around the map, I can see it's all the same for now. 
I don't see any cities that have actually fallen, so I may be wrong. Yep, I think I am. The only other big new thing is Australia settled in New Guinea. So they're looking quite good too. Um, and we'll, oh, let's have a quick look at the scoreboard. I'll put it away again till the end. Um, India still leads the way. Then it is Burundi, the Sioux, Nubia, and Japan. Canada's now up to seventh. I thought they'd be doing a lot better than that. It's really hard to see. Colorado's down here <laughs> with Australia and Mongolia. We're still, we've only just entered the Renaissance era. The AI is going at a nice slow pace today. Okay, then turn 180 Australia. Oh, they killed them. I didn't see that. They, well, they declared we're on the Kulin again and finished them off pretty much straight away. Carthage also fell to Rome. Colorado's going to keep going. They've now attacked Tennessee. We'll see if they're successful. Shoshone okay for now. Harappa declared we're on Persia again, which surprised me because I didn't realize they'd even pieced out. England and Spain are at war, but that's not going to lead to anything. Although there is finally an England settler. Took them a while. Uh, Roman Huns teamed up on Byzantium. I don't know, was that? No, no, nothing's happened there. There are so many units that just can't move. I've got a feel for them. Um, the Corral took a city off of Chile here, so they're down to the last one. And then finally, Bengal completed the Angkor Wat Wonder, and they still have the biggest city in the world. They have a unique unit too. This could be a good era for them. But they are next to apparently number one in the world, India, so got to be careful. Okay, then turn 190. We've got 10 left of me actually watching and then I'll just show you every 50 for part 3. We'll probably just do 150 in future because I don't know, not too much actually happened but Mexico and the Corral have teamed up on the Mayans. No progress yet though, which is <laughs> most of the wars. The Inca did peace out with the Mayans and took this city. They didn't conquer it, they just got it for free. Egypt declared war on Babylon, but nothing's happening. <laughs> Yakusha though, I think are nearly dead. Yeah, they lost their capital. They're in a bit of trouble. Russia attacked Byzantium and conquered the Crimea cities, and they finally were successful. The Inca have also attacked Chile. Ah, this might be why they're not going after the Mayans. Oh no, they pieced out the Mayans, but yeah, they should get that. Uh, and then Sweden built the Forbidden Palace. So there we go. Ten turns to go. Let's um, see if anything crazy happens. Okay, then we approach turn 200, one turn to go, but I'll just show you what happened before then. So Bengal killed off Nepal. That was sad. Burundi completed the Sistine Chapel. Arabia declared war Babylon, but again, it's not going well for the AI with these sieges. We might have to go back to um, a higher difficulty next time. It was just a trial. Bengal completed the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Chile died. Sorry. Uh, Boston of Tennessee fell to Colorado. And the Sioux also just attacked Colorado. And there we go, one final thing. I believe that is Yakusha dying. Yes, it is, to Korea. But we'll do the map review. Morocco v Spain breaks out as well. Uh, the Sioux have broken into Alaska. But apart from that, I think this region is mostly the same in North America. As we saw, Tennessee did lose a city, though. Oh, there we go. There's Mexico. The Mayans could lose this Panama Canal city to Mexico. That would be pretty big. South America is starting to blob out with the death of Chile, Argentina, I think, and they got the Falklands, but everyone got something out of that. Um, Brazil took a city over here, Corral got one, Inca got one, Argentina got one. They all split Chile between them. Over to Africa, this has been a very quiet region, nothing changing really. Burundi has settled in Madagascar, but yep, mostly very peaceful. Up into Europe, and it's mostly the same. England did settle in Ireland after all this time. They could have done that on, like, turn 10. Don't know why they waited so long, but there we go. Yeah, all around here is the same. These cities are... This one's new. That one's not. Um, Persia here is all the same. Babylon, Arabia, yep. This is how it's looking at the moment. Here you go. Siam looks quite good, actually. Ming here as well. Japan, Korea. Korea got a fifth city now. Mongolia actually is quite big. Just, I don't know, they don't feel it. Kazan's also quite big, so maybe that hurts Mongolia. And then you have the Chukchi as well, who look the same for now. And then I don't believe there's any... Oh no, Burundi has... Of all the sieves, I was not expecting Burundi here. I guess it makes sense, but a bit, a bit far. They do have caravels. So do Persia. We're starting to see some deep sea exploring. And then we have Australia with all of this territory to themselves for now. We'll do demographics. I'm probably last or some of the dead sieves, so that doesn't matter. But Burundi is winning a lot of them. 
Population, crops, economy, soldiers. The Sioux have the most land. Colorado actually have the highest production. They have a lot of mines, I think. And then Canada has the highest literacy at the moment. Religion, is it still dominated by one religion? 55 for Islam from Nubia, so yeah. But Japan Shinto is doing okay as well with 35. But yeah, that'll be it for this episode. Next episode, I'll just go over, so we'll start 250 and work our way up. Hopefully, we'll just keep running as far as possible. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.